Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to learn how to download Citra the latest version because last time I showed you how to download the old older version and it's gotten old and there have been made a lot of changes so I was thinking so let's do a new video so let's get into it so first thing first you got get into your favorite browser now I use Google Chrome because they have a they download special but I, I think it's nice I because I edited some stuff in it and it's gotten better and it takes some time to I'll return when it opens up yep it's open and now I'm back guys so let's get into it now what was I going to do yeah yeah we were going to download the latest version of Citra and if you don't know what Citra is basically Citra is a 3D emulator that which you can play on your your PC and I think they had the, added the option of Mac as well yeah you can play it on PC and Mac it's always been Mac and PC but I I I probably like Windows and I I think Windows is great and I got the computer with a 998 gigabytes it will be that much gigabytes so I don't care about it but I do care about the internet if the internet runs out of gigabytes what will I do then but still so, let's get into it so first thing first, you gotta download, go to the web, their main website, Citra. So there have been a huge, a lot of changes, and and I've learned a few how to how to improve your FPS, but none of them work. So I will make a video on that, but I know how to Im improve your graphics. So like there are a lot of lines in there, and that that I check they taught me and I it changed so first go to the Citra main website sorry for take talking a lot and getting into a lot of sense because it's, it's made so much many changes that I'm so excited that I just want to show you so first just go for download windows link Linux and Macs instead of clicking this baby click manual downloads now here is the thing you do Instead of downloading the nightly build, you download the the canary build. I think they changed it from build date. They changed the bleeding edge build to canary build. So, but there is only one problem. They don't have the option for map. And I think this this has been updated because I I was using a bar. I don't know which one, but they these guys don't have that option which this guy has I don't know if they have it if this have it this have it but I tried it out didn't work for me though so and this has been just updated 16 hours ago so it's latest so but by the time you see this it will be Saturday so today is Thursday so you I will upload it tomorrow because I have a busy schedule so instead of clicking this which I just did. There you go. Instead of clicking that, just go down here, click on this. I guess open link in new tab. Open the link in new tab. Yes, yes, Mister. Now this is where the good stuff starts. Now they have the. They have a lot of one. They have the seven zip one and the zip file one. And the zip file one. Yeah. I don't get it. So I'll just download this. Click on the Windows icon and it will download because I think that's easier. But there have been, they just added that icon thingy and I downloaded that. I didn't think it's so good. And like this, let me show you what I mean while it downloads because I need a, a new version. Yeah. Open up. Yeah, so they have this Citra Bleeding Edge build. 
this one it's the older version of the bleeding edge and it has this icon like thingy only the icon no user folder and this is the canary ming w thingy now this is a great one one eternity later it opened up up like this and i was just searching scrolling through the games option because they added some games recommendations and perfect games recommendations so let's just close this and extract this in my favorite folder emulated where i extract everything now it might say something like it's the same folder again because let uh, me just do something right here let's rename it this one and yeah so charming w old hello old i don't want to so i'll just redo that and it will, will work perfectly gone so let's get into it and let me show you how it works a few of the second settings in it now canary ming w so instead of choosing the citra room or citra choose the citra the slash qt i don't know why they called it slash qt but cute whatever instead of, and never never ever close this now because i have ev the same settings in everything so that's why the, it already worked like that so because you there have been actually some changes if you didn't notice there is no user folder in the in the newer version if you haven't noticed or if you did notice there's no new no user folder so th now you to access the user folder you just open up this pc yes you just open that up type in type in this this place this 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 where written is written this PC type in percentage mark app data and percentage oh I've been visiting a lot so after you have got in there click on find the one citra if you can't find it click on something click C and you will get there instantly now now these are the stuff that you have in a normal user folder but I have already exchanged the user folder and I have I have it where I have the where I know where the user folder is so let me just t tell you what to do I won't do it so you just have to go open up where you downloaded the user folder just go to download I have a lot of stuff now and find and open this user folder which I will leave the link in the description below or you can use the same user folder that you have it by watching my older videos so open this up open this up and as you can see everything is same instead of your safe state so just do this and drag it here I won't do it because I have a lot of saved progress in the games and that's why I won't do it so let's continue now th now it runs this in this version the awesome thing I wanted to tell you was it runs multiplayer that's the most awesome thing that ever happened in the history of Pokemon uh, I mean history of, of of you know and as you can see I hoped and hopped into the to the server so to get in here first you type in your nickname after that's done you're done now you type in the chat like hi now you interact with the with the world worldwide players are playing this stuff so currently they're playing pokemon moon both of them are playing so you know pokemon sun and pokemon moon are the same thing so you can trade battle stuff even if you're in different games so let me just put on Pokemon Sun Multi 3DS descriptive version of this game it should start any second now sorry for the noise people let me just do something right here yeah that's better I don't know if you can still hear it so I'll just do some settings here yeah if you can't hear it now it's great now just type it 
click on a button which can, if it does this no need to worry don't panic J just click on the a button b button or the start button and you will start and then you can just click continue and you can also interact with the worldwide players you can get request of trade you can trade you can battle you can do whatever you like and why i was trying to s tell you that that you must put the user folder because it can only run pokemon sun and if it only runs pokemon sun and if you want to run other games y you have to use the user folder like always so i downloaded this awesome game mario party the top 100 so the, the, this is the latest Mar 3ds mario game and it was created in 2017 so let's tell me what to tell you to what to do to configure stuff so first just do this and this must be enabled enable cpu jit and if you want it dark like me it is in the update i only did that so you can choose the region which you, region you are staying i'm not staying in the usa i just like i i speak english i know english that's why i chose usa and i don't know any other and australia usa and australia are the same thing they can speak English and that's why I chose the region as you say now if you want a dark theme like me you can just click here click on themes and click on dark if you don't want the dark you can just click on default but I want the dark so that's why I'm not going to click on the de default so let's get into the system and uh, my name's not 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 Victor my name is Nathan or Nathan gaming for sure for long why aren't you letting me write my last two questions? I just. It won't let me type Nathan. So, English? Yeah, I'm, I obviously speak English, so I'm English. And instead of putting, putting on it on surround, put it on mono. It's better because it doesn't make, make that noise that you just heard a few seconds ago. So, go to input, choose your settings. My settings are this graphics now here's the big thing Ding. instead of choosing anything else give it an auto it's better if you want you can either enable both or either enable one of these sometimes you don't want to enable one of these and then you can choose the screen layout I choose the default you can choose single screen large screen and the latest side by side now audio auto auto Enable audio starting. I don't know what that means. Then debug not needed. So this is the part where, where the web. This thing allows you allows the sitter team to collect your additional usage data, which may include user identifying information. For example, like you're playing Pokemon Sun, and then you want to just edit, and you did some hacking and stuff. And that will identify you. And if you are using a, an unofficial build, it won't let you identify you. So I have identified. You get a token if you sign up. So to know what your token, you just click on what is my token, and then click on click. They will tell you where to click so you can get your token because and it's just it, you can keep your token as it is as you care for your password so you have to take care of your token don't tell anyone about your token don't tell it or they might they might do some hacking and get you back yeah they might do that so after you have done this just click on ok and then let's open to my favorite game almost my favorite game and i haven't played it for like i don't know how long I haven't played it at all. I forgot that I ever played it. So, first run. But I tested how the FPS works, and yeah, baby, it works so good. Uh, let me show you. I'll just disconnect any number. Look, the FPS 27 FPS. Look at the game speed. Oh, yeah. FPS going like crazy. Man. As you can see, the FPS goes crazy. Oh man, oh my goodness, this is the greatest FPS I ever heard of, 100 mini games, 
uh, clear four worlds and unlock mini games. And oh my god, the FPS! Oh my god, this is the greatest, greatest FPS game. Now let me just boot up the volume so you can hear what I'm hearing currently because I'm going to. Oh my God! This is so fast. So this is so quick. This is so fast. It's just so fast. Let me just put it up on like this. Oh my God! Even can you see me record it, or is it just? Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Oh my God! This is so cool. So let's go for 100 mini games. Oh, I can play as Mario. Look at the characters, they're so cartoony. Mario. Mario. Oh no, normal. FPS is falling. Don't fall on me. Shy guy says, I don't know. So, like I show, showed you, it's working perfectly. And, no, no, not this. It's working perfectly and awesomely and there this new multiplayer update is the awesome thing. One more thing, it's not sponsored because I'm talking like it's sponsored, but it's actually a how to video so not sponsored. So and it's working great and also my most favorite game, the Super Mario Bros. 2. And by the way, if you have two different computers, you have a brother or a sister or even a you know what. So you can just play multiplayer like open up you can create your own room like create your, your room give it a name choose a game and choose how many players you want you can put your username in you you can put the password if you want a private game yeah so thanks for watching guys like share and subscribe like always like always and I'm going to start a series called the MU Master, Emulator Master, in which I will uh, 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 teach you about how to download certain emulators like the the NDS emulator, uh, this emulator, and the old ones, the GBA emulator, and mo many more. I haven't made the GBA one. I will make one Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, or something like that, if you say so. And if I reach 10 likes on 10 likes on this video, I will make teach you how to play Nintendo 64 or NES games you have to just choose you can type in the comments and who whichever whichever is the best one you can just tell me and I will make fun on it and if you have any problems with this emulator drive in the comments I will look at it because I check your comments every time and thanks for watching like share and subscribe bye